Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Vintage Story on the Aura Fury server. Hope you guys are doing good today. I am doing great, with the exception of the fact that I cannot seem to get these two windmills to hook up together. So, we are going to try to do some of the large gear, clutch, things like that today. Now, I know they're supposedly bugged, but I want to try them anyway because it's not going to hurt to give it a shot. So, let's take a look at the large gear first. So, let's just pull up the gear. So, we need these large gear sections. For that, we need resin, boards, sticks, saw, chisel, hammer. So at least we don't need any animal fat for that. So let's get down here and get some of the stuff that we need because we have a resin, we have some boards, but we don't have enough sticks, we don't have enough boards, we don't have most of the things that we need. So we'll grab a stack of planks, a stack of sticks, and also we are going to need to make multiple of these recipes. So let's go ahead and take our saw and turn our logs into boards. So that's the first thing. And then we are going to go with the saw. Uh, how did this recipe go again? So we, oh, saw is on that side. Okay. So let's put our saw over here. Then we need the chisel, the hammer, the resin, boards, lots of boards throw an extra board in each of those and then lots of sticks okay so one two three four I think we only need four of those so next up for these we need to have more we need to have more planks and an axle unfortunately axle yes um, we are running out of axles and we're running out of lumps of fat to make those with so if we take a look at the axle, once again, that is a log and fat, chisel and a hammer. So let's go ahead and make eight more. Oh, we're gonna run out of fat. We're gonna have to like trade, uh, we're gonna have to trade uh, salt and things for uh, fat. Uh, mm. So then we go like this. And we put our resin in the middle. Is that right? Or did I get that backwards? I don't know. Whoops. Uh, what was the recipe on this again? Oh, we need six boards in each one? Do I not have six boards in each one? I've got 14 boards in each one. Or do we have to have a specific type of board? No, oh, that would be bad. Oak. Pine. So that's so we can use pine. We've got our axles. We've got our large gear sections. Hmm. So apparently that recipe does not seem to be... Wait. Ah, <laughs> resin. Axle. There we go. Boy, I feel like an idiot now. All right, let's go up and see if we can actually make this thing do something. So, first off... Let's, yeah, that's still 900 degrees. We'll leave that there for a bit. So now, coming off of this, let's go ahead and place our large gear right here. And this should, eh, actually I'm not too sure that I want it to be there. And I don't have an ax. You know what, let me, uh, I'm actually going to do some experimenting with this and see if I can get this thing put together so yeah I don't know how interesting it's gonna be so I will record it just in case but I will assume that when I come back this thing will be working so I tried and tried and tried to get this to work and never could get anything to function properly so I went over to my creative world for a while and Actually, I had a lot of fun messing around over there, but once again, didn't really get anything figured out. So I decided I would log back on, and this thing's just going like crazy. So, yeah, we need to make use of this while we can. So I need to heat these uh, iron blooms up as quickly as possible. 
get them put down on the anvil. And no, it's already starting to slow down. Don't do that. Yeah, I'll get these heated up and worked down, and I'll see you guys after a little bit. Well, apparently just over 1,700 degrees is enough to work this iron down. <laughs> so, by all means, I'm having trouble keeping them heated here. I already got two ingots done. This has taken very little time. And I have three more bloomeries downstairs that need to be taken care of. So, I may need to get another forge up here. Because, yep, there we go. Too cold to work. Anything below 700, that's not going to cut it. So, yep, I got more bloom, more blooms to bring up, as well as more forges needed. So, yep, I am going to get all of this stuff taken care of, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So, it is definitely well worth it to go through here and knock some of the slag off of those ingots as they're being made. Help the hammer out a little bit, because... Even at this kind of speed, it's still struggling to keep up with three forges. But, yeah, we've made quite a few ingots already. This is working great. So, yeah, just been kind of cycling through them here. And drop that. And, yeah, we're a little bit ahead. So, we'll go ahead and knock off some of the slag off of this. And that just makes it that much easier for the hammer to get the work done. So, yeah, it only makes sense to do this. So, yeah, a lot less stuff for it to do. You can see now we're starting to catch up a little on the forges. Now, of course, this one is pretty warm. So, oh, there we go. Another one done. Let's go ahead and just keep after it. Whoops. Yeah, always got to be careful with that. So, yeah, after I get done making these iron, though, um... Yeah, I got some copper in my inventory. I want to get some copper plates because I definitely want some lanterns. So that is my next goal here, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah, let me get this all done. Let's start making some, some copper plates. Now that is pretty cool. I accidentally made a copper chisel and a copper shovel. And this thing was still glowing, so I thought, you know what, I'll throw it in some water. That is cool. It actually quenches it. That is amazing. So we actually need to have a quenching bucket near where we are going to be doing some of this stuff. That is really cool. But I have made a lot of copper plates now. We have uh, 20 copper plates. So next thing is to stop this thing from making this god-awful noise. And we're just going to stop it by breaking the toggle. So the uh, blades will still be turning. But uh, maybe? Wow. <laughs> They're really struggling. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. But everything's working really good there. So, and we actually still have some heat in these plates. So we'll go ahead and quench them as well. And then we are going to make ourselves some lanterns. That is so cool. I really like that. That is amazing but we only have 12 here why do we only have 12 were we not supposed to have 20 what oh there's the other eight but i don't know that that really matters so let's go down and see what we can do with these so one thing that we definitely need is some candles so we have a lot of beeswax, and I've actually been using some of it to make uh, sealed crocks. But it takes three beeswax to make a candle. So there's ten. Um, 
there's 14. Now that's not quite enough yet because it takes one plate per uh, lantern. So we need a little bit more. And guess what? In our stuff that we got from the dungeon, seven more candles. So we've got 21 candles. We've got 20 copper plates. So the next thing is glass. We need to make up a whole bunch of glass. So we're going to need to run a batch of quartz chunks through uh, a bloomery. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that next. So our bloomeries are done. We now have some glass. So this glass is going to be needed to be able to make our lanterns. Now one thing that I would kind of like to figure out how to do is how to line the lanterns. It is something that I have never figured out how to do and I don't think I've ever seen anything about it. So that is something that I definitely want to look into. But I believe to make these we need to cut the glass into half slabs. But let's go ahead and look at the uses here. So we have our copper lanterns. This gives a light level of 18 but if we could put in glass or silver, we can bump that up. Glass? If we can put in gold or silver, we could bump that up to 20. So it's a little bit higher. I would really like to know how to do that. But, um, yeah, glass half slabs. So for now, I guess, especially inside of the, inside of the pyramid here, we don't need to have anything other than just standard uh, lanterns. So we have enough for 20, 20 lanterns. So uh, there's 40, 40 pieces of glass. So we'll go ahead and put this in here. And oh, 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 oh. that, the number of times that I have replaced the torches in here is insane and now we don't have to do it anymore. Oh, thank God. So lanterns. Yes, lanterns. And actually, I think I'm gonna move those over by one block. I think we can punch those down. Yeah, say so yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. But yes, that is great. We now have lanterns. So I've got to try to figure out where we need to put these. We have quite a few of them to go around, but we are not unlimited on them. So I need to figure out a little bit of positioning on these. And of course, we do have a lot more honey that needs to be pulled out of the various combs, but we don't really have anywhere to put the, the honey itself at the moment. So we can't really get the wax. Now, also, I had a lot of responses on the outside appearance of the pyramid. So, it seems to be a resounding response to keep the pyramid undamaged. So, have it look like this over here, but then have this for the exterior. So, I, I mean, I'm plenty happy with that. Now, I'm definitely going to remove the berry bushes, but I kind of have a feeling that I would like to still, every once in a while, have a little bit of variation in the blocks because that does tend to help. But I will need to remove all of this stuff, and my gosh, there's a lot of it to remove. So, whoops. So, yeah, that's something that I need to do now. But also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I put some metal scraps in here too. I think that's pretty cool. And a little bit of bony soil. So there's a lot of stuff that has been put into the various details of this. So yeah, I need to get figured out where the lanterns are gonna go for starters. And then I've got to work this down a little bit here as well. So yeah, I'll get this, get this fixed up here get the pyramid kind of back to its original glory and I will see you guys when I am finished. So I have the pyramid all fixed up. 
did a little bit of changes here to the walkway and got everything fixed here but we're finally getting to the point of where the snow is starting to melt which makes me kind of happy but I'm kind of feeling like we need to get a little bit more done on the area here because right now we have just the one pyramid that is not complete we need to get a building on top of it we need to figure out what we're gonna do with that but we also need to kind of flesh this in make it look like there's more people around here uh, so we need to build some houses some just simple residences and I was looking through a whole bunch of stuff on what Mayan residences look like the biggest thing that I see is a lot of thatch for the roofs so yeah that kind of got me a little bit sad because yeah thatch all that I have is hay bales but then I found out we can chisel the hay grass oh this just changed things a lot so yes um, I think what I'm gonna do is come out of here and start laying out a little bit of stuff for some smaller residences you know of course we're still gonna have the large municipal buildings like the storehouse and uh, oh there'll be a mill and a large temple in the center and maybe a few other buildings I don't know we'll have to see what all we need but those are gonna be these large uh, stepped pyramid style buildings but the main residences yeah they'll just be little little bitty things so I think I'm gonna start by building one here because unfortunately yeah we have our terra preta here and we can't move it so we have to figure out something that we can do with that so the easiest thing to do is just build around it so yeah I'm gonna try to make a little house here of some sort I don't know for sure what it is going to take on the shape of but uh, yeah it is definitely time we make some houses make this place look a little bit more like what what the plan is oh yeah I totally forgot there was Pete there well don't log on to the server for a couple of days and it goes from February to May so yeah you can definitely tell it's been a little while since i've been on because there's still ice in the bay but if we pull up the calendar uh it, yeah it is may 6th temperature outside is 24 celsius now there is an advantage to this in that all of my food or well the great majority of my food has spoiled so most of the stuff that I had well all of the stuff that I had for vegetables has spoiled in the containers and then we've even got some of our prepared food is starting to spoil so yes rot 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 and more rot and we've even got some of this stuff is starting to go bad but uh, oh, that is not the one that I want I want these but we're gonna try to eat this stuff before it actually goes bad but we do have a lot of rot to make compost and I think I have come up with a decent design for the houses so I did some research on Mayan architecture and it would appear that the majority of their houses are uh, why are mud brick and so we are going to do a lot of mud brick uh, houses now because of that you can see I've got stuff in my inventory here wow that was a lot of rot but uh, yeah we need to make up some light mud bricks so the light mud bricks we need sand soil dry grass and clay and we need a lot of clay so if we look at our handbook and look up mud mud the light mud brick we need a piece of sand in the middle a piece of dirt on the bottom uh two dry grass in each corner and four clay on each side so actually i need more dry grass so we'll put our dry grass in each corner 
We will put our clay on each side, sand in the middle, dirt on the bottom. Does that have to be low fertility soil? Oh, that would be horrible. It looks like it does. So let's take a look once more. Mud, light mud brick. Yep, it is only showing low fertility soil. Well, I don't think I have any low fertility soil at the moment. Um, I don't see any there, and I'm pretty sure I didn't have any over here. Oh, wait, nope, I do. Okay, good. Okay, so we have some low fertility soil. So let's try this once more, and this time we should have a viable recipe. I hope. There we go. So we get four mud bricks from each one. And yeah, this only half a stack of the soil and half a stack of the sand, but we get two stacks of the bricks. So we are going to be using a lot of these bricks in the build, and there is going to be a lot of chiseling involved in this as well. Now, typically the Mayan houses were very small. So, you know, I have a feeling that what I'll be doing is a four wide building, but then I'm going to chisel off the out, outer half of these bricks to form a, a half block wall. And then we'll put our thatch roof on top of that. So. Yeah, we don't need a lot of space here, and yeah, actually if we, yeah, we, we have just enough. Wow, I wasn't anticipating that, but uh, yeah, we have just enough room. So now I am going to actually start building some stuff. Obviously, I've got a bunch of drifters down here that I want to get rid of because they're annoying me, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. This rain is really starting to get on my nerves. I have been on the server for three and a half hours, and it has been raining the whole time. The, the... Stop! But I do have the first of our little hovels completed for the normal person. And all I can say is, for how simple this is, it took a stupid amount of time to build. Mainly because of the roof, which is a lot of chiseled hay blocks. And it is rather boring. So, there may be some things that I may try to do to make this look better in the future, but also we have some things that we need to do for detailing. Now one thing that I do kind of like about this is we can put hay beds in here. So I'm just going to make one of these real quick. Now most of the images that I've seen of the interiors of the Mayan houses, they use hammocks. So, oh no, I have to, there's a block in the way. What? What do you mean there's a block in the way? Oh. Okay, I see what's going on there. I have to be facing in this direction? Well, oh, another block in the way. Yeah, it wants to place in this direction. Can I not place a bed in the other direction? Let's try breaking out the wall and placing it through there. Ah! Well, that's weird because that's cobblestone. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. So, if we try to place this, we need to place the foot of the bed. So if we try to place it on this block, it's trying to go through the wall. So we have to place it on this one. Ooh, interesting. But typically they would use hammocks. So... Yeah, we could place that. It might actually be better if it was up another block. And I... Uh, 
and we're going to need to place something down. So if we put down a hay block here, go up against it and click that right there. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. We will go ahead and put a lantern in here just to put some lighting in. Now, yeah, the lantern may be a bit on the extreme side, but a permanent light source is not easy to come by in this game. And so that's, for the moment, what I'm going to have to do. Now, there are some ways that I can make this look a little more interesting, most notably in the roof. You know, we can add some unevenness to the rows of the thatching. We can also put a neat little end piece that only is in the upper portion of the roof there's some things that we can do there now some other things that we need to do here and we're going to do one of them right away so uh crockery is definitely going to be something that they would have so let's see here we need to find one that's just about empty and we'll go ahead and move this over there let's Grab this vessel, we'll set it over there. Grab this one, we'll set it in here. And now we will have this fired vessel that we can place out in front of this hovel. And I think that's going to add a, a nice little bit of extra detail. You know, we'll throw that right there. Um, I'll probably be wanting to chisel this down. You know, take most of this down by half a block here. Because we don't want to be that much higher than everything else around here. I don't know. That's something I'll have to look into. Now, you may also notice I've added more gravel to the pathway. I think it just adds a little bit of texture and interest to the path. You know, it's not really noticeable. If you're looking at it from a distance, the gravel is not noticeable at all it's not until you're right up onto it and it just gives a little bit of extra detail so i like it but yeah there's definitely some stuff that i'm going to want to do in here uh probably change one of these to a full block and put a fire pit in here uh, at least one more bed you know just some some things to make it uh seem more like there are are people living here and the nice part is is we have space for something under this bed I don't know what we'll have to see so if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do with this to make it a little more interesting now of course Mayan houses the the standard person's house they are rather boring that's what we see is things like that but yeah, I do think that's going to be it for this one, though. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on or anything that you would like to see, be sure to leave that down in the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye.